Hello, I'm Dave Lucy, and welcome to this edition of the Alakazam video blog. Again, we've been away for a while, but we are back. We've been filming some awesome new projects, uh, which we'll be talking about a little bit later on, as well as a a jam session that I have with a few pros. Uh, we're gonna put that on this edition and we're gonna talk about E2. It's been a lot of hype about this and uh, we're gonna talk you through it and we're gonna show it to you as well. Uh, so stay tuned for this episode of the Alakazam video blog. We are like little and like, if I, if I stand back, then we, we look a similar size. Great. <laughs> really? That's recording. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Mr. Nardi. What? Hey, not on the close up, Matt. <laughs> put your tea there. It's no bleak. <laughs> put, put it on a coaster. <laughs> Yours ain't on a coaster. <laughs> there All right. Go. There you go. Now, continue. <laughs> Mr. Nardi. Dave. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> good to be back it is it is um, we always seem to say this it seems to be that we have quite a break because we go filming and then we get to finally get back and film on these vlogs it's been a very busy time um for us so yes what we've been up to right so as you know we have been away filming some great new products um you don't actually, have it here do you no <laughs> But we've got, uh, there's two new products coming out for us in December. One of them is the E2, which has been released now. It's already out. The next one, which is coming out on Monday, is Rajan's Fantastic Coin Magic DVD, yeah. AG47. Yeah, it's ridiculous, some of the stuff on that. It looks it's amazing. really, really cool. The thing is, Rajan has been a professional magician for over 20 years. Um, the routines that he's included on these, uh, on this DVD, are routines that he works every time he's out performing. Yeah. Okay? So, it's not YouTube magic. It's not angle sensitive, yeah. realistically. Um, it's proper working material yeah. and you can see that from from his presentation down to his technical ability yeah that it, he's worked it and yeah it, he has he's got all the lines in there he's got all the the important facts of timing and you know how to cover moves that go on he's um on the dvd there's five effects there's a um coin production where you produce free coins from sort of thin air. Yeah. Um, there's a free fly routine, which is really, really great. It looks as good as any, I mean, personally, I own a free, yeah. free fly routine that cost me, I don't know, 300 quid, something like that. His looks exactly the same. It's most probably just as easy to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and there's not, one gaff coin in sight it, it's just normal coins so everything on the dvd is with normal non everything coins. yeah everything's with um, non-gaff coins so he's got a brilliant free fly which is not hard to learn he's got a great coins through table um and he showed me this about three or four times and he's got a beautiful sort of reverse kick where the coins jump back for the final coin instead of the final coin traveling yeah. through um, all the coins jump back through the table. That caught me off guard about four times I watched <laughs> him do it. And well, even now when I watch him do it, the misdirection's so good yeah. that you just don't catch it. And once again, regular coins. So you could literally just be out and about and borrow, you know, 50p coins or half dollars or whatever yeah. else you want to do if you're in America that is um, but any coins you've got you can do this routine the great thing about Rajan as well is he his teaching ability is great he yeah. breaks everything down um, there are some trickier moves and he takes you through it in stages so everything that you want to learn you can learn yeah, you know? yeah. Um, saying that some of the stuff does take a bit of practice but if you want to get it looking good and, and using it then it's worth it's worth the time yeah it is and the other thing that's great on there is his coins across um which is something he's really proud of it ends up with a coin appearing under the spectator's watch as well um and he goes into to all the details of of how that effect works 
um, as with all the effects on there. And then he finishes off with a lovely coin vanish at the end, multiple coin vanish. Um, in addition to that, he's put on two sort of bonus ideas. One of them is he creates his own sort of hand lotion. Uh, um, now I know the older I'm getting, the less grip I've got. Whether right. I'm doing cards or yeah, coins yeah. or whatever, I, I really, whenever I need to, you know, do anything where I've got a grip a card, I'm doing the, yeah. you know, licking the thumb thing. He's uh, he's created this um, this hand lotion. He teaches you how to make it. It's very cheap to make, but just by spraying it on your hands, rubbing your hands, you've got perfect grip for coins or cards. Oh, great. So that alone. In, in my mind to, to a worker is, is worth the price. The other thing that will save any coin magician hundreds and hundreds of pounds is he teaches you how to soften coins. Oh really? Yeah. So his coins that he uses are beautiful and he softened them sort of himself. He just bought the normal coins and just softened them down. So he teaches you exactly how to do that as well. And it's something you do while you're sitting there watching TV, yeah. you're, you're just doing it. So he goes into the secret of how to make the perfect soft coins as well. And to, to anyone that does coin magic, you will realize instantly how much money that will actually save you. Yeah. You know, the, the price of a, a, of a new coin compared to a soft coin is quite dramatic in some cases. Oh. So um, that's a really, really good bonus on there. But that's AG47. I'm going to play the trailer for you in, in a moment. But I will say, this is the first DVD that we are going to be releasing both as a DVD and a streaming video yeah. at the same time. Okay. So if you're one of the guys that, that likes to watch the streaming videos rather than spend the extra money to get the DVD, you can buy the streaming video, you can purchase that now and on the day of release it will become active in your My Streaming Video section of your account. So pre-order it now and then it becomes live. Obviously if you buy the streaming there's no postage attached to that yeah, yeah. Um, and you get to watch it straight away. Um, if you buy the DVD, the DVD is expected to ship. Um, on Monday, I don't know what the date is this coming Monday, stay for, I'd say it'll be about the 9th, I okay. can leave. Um, so that's going to be uh, shipping out then, but let's watch the trailer. Hi, my name's Rajan. I've been a professional magician now for 25 years. I'd like to share with you five of my favourite coin plots. Welcome to AG47. Okay, so there's been um, a lot of excitement about the new Extractor, the E2. Yes. And there's been a lot of questions, what's the differences, so on and so forth. So I think it's fair we, we take, take them through it, talk them through it. Okay. Well, the, the E2, for those of you that have never heard of the Extractor, the Extractor is a, a product that we released, um, I can't remember exactly when, but I'm sure it was about four or five years ago. Yeah. Um, and what basically what happened there, there is a, a story behind this um mark elsden created an effect called the riser yeah and we were getting rob bromley to make the riser decks for us and 
one day when he when Rob sent me a parcel of risers, he said, Peter, I've stuck an envelope in there. Have a look. So I opened up the envelope. Inside was this card box. Rung Rob up, and he said, Oh, I call it an extractor. Um, he said, If you put a card in, you'll see what happens. So I thought, Yeah, it's novel. I, and it yeah, literally, yeah, yeah. the honest truth was, it sat in my close-up case, or my them case. Sorry, it was the shop them case for two years. It really? literally just sat there. I, I didn't. I knew what it did, but I didn't really understand the benefit. The use of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then a couple of years. Well, no, about four or five years ago at Blackpool, I was behind the stand, and Dave Jones, um, who's a great card magician, coin magician, very very clever guy, come up to the stand, and we were chatting, and he said, "Oh, show me something." And I had a look in my dem case, and I saw the extractor. And I literally made up my card in pocket routine on the spot. I was doing it on the fly, and to be fair, I was doing it as a gag. Yeah. Um, and I did it, and the, the look on his face <laughs> sort of just, he really did not have a clue yeah. what had happened. So part of me thought, well, he wasn't paying attention. The, the, you, do you know what I mean? It was just a bit of luck. And, yeah somehow it's just looked really impressive to him and he um, started working it. Yeah. yeah and then so literally dave went and got someone else and brought them over to the stand because he really didn't know what had happened so he brought someone over to the stand so i done the effect again once again you know they didn't <laughs> know what had happened yeah. so i actively went out while during that blackpool convention I went out showing everyone I possibly could, but everyone I believed would catch me or should catch me. Yeah. So I showed David Stone, I showed Richard Sanders, I showed Leonard Green, um, I showed uh, Gary Jones, uh, Paul Gordon, JJ Sanver. I mean, I. So all the creative minds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyone that I thought. Um, Angelo Carbone, who, you know, straight away you think, well, Angelo's got a mind that just clicks yeah. over, he'll just spot it straight away. All of these guys I showed it to, and not one of them knew what was what going on. Um, it is so devious, it really it, is. It's such a de devious gimmick, and I started to analyse why it is they didn't know what was going on. Why did they miss everything? And the reason is because the extractor itself is all the misdirection you need the actual extractor unit yeah provides the misdirection yeah. it's just there um and i'm going to show you what the extractor actually does and i'll explain a bit more about it but so as well as the um as well as the actual handmade extractor gimmick you get two dvds in here mm -hmm. that are jam-packed full of routines you've got my classic card in pocket routine which is something i still do walk around um which is just simple and straight to the point yeah. basically that you hand them a deck of cards they shuffle the card they take out uh, take out any card they want they sign it you push it, or they push it, anywhere in the um, in the deck, and the deck is already inside the box, so it goes in the deck, in the box. Yeah. You put the deck um, into your inside jacket pocket, instantly reach down to your trouser pocket, and it's in there. Cool. So, um, obviously, it doesn't have to play that quick, but that's that's a general idea. Yeah, yeah. The other thing that is on here is I've got my signed card to seal deck in position right okay yeah so there's a there's a couple of different presentations you can do for that whether you wanted to get someone to pick a card out of a blue bank deck it would then vanish from the blue bank deck and appear in a sealed red deck in position so every other card is red wow. apart from their sign card which will be in position and the box is sealed so i teach that on there I do a non-sealed version, which is more practical for a table hopping scenario because yeah. it can be repeated. Where, whereas the sealed deck, obviously, you, you've got to make up. You have, the but like, that will have its time and place. Yeah, that's a when top, you're doing table, a top table. Trick. Yeah, definitely yeah. a top table trick. Um, there's also things like card to shoe in here. There's loads of different effects, but whatever. 
card tricks you do, whether you do a, a standard card to wallet, whether you do uh, the mystery box, the clarity box, any sort of card to box routine, this not only adds a lot of misdirection, it yeah. makes the effect appear more impossible. Yeah. Um, the other thing which was quite interesting, a very good friend of mine that I've known for years, a guy called Chris North, he's been an entertainer and a magician for, I, I, I dread to think how long, sort of 30, 40 <laughs> years, I mean yeah. he's, he's literally out there doing it all the time. Um, he run me up when he, he got this and he said it was, um, to him it was a great training tool as well for, for certain things in close up because he was more of a stage performer, yeah. more of a mentalist um, and he was getting more and more into close up and table hopping and things like that and he raves about this, I mean he he went through three of the other extractors and, and he bought one of these as well. So um, it's one of those things that will become a staple if you purchase it, this will become a staple in your yeah. routines and your repertoire. So what's the main difference between the first one and the E2? Right, well, without dropping it, the, um, the first extractor worked exactly the same way. Yeah. The big drawback was it was a sealed unit, yeah. i.e the box itself formed part of the working mechanism of the extractor. Yeah. So, as the boxes are made of cardboard, they're made out of real card boxes, they will start getting grubby. If you sit on them, they will dent. Yeah. You know, they can rip. There's a lot that can go wrong with yeah. them. Now, to re-box your extractor gimmick used to take, if you were good at arts and crafts, about 20 minutes. Yeah. You know, so a lot of people would just bin them and buy another one yeah. because they couldn't be asked to sit there and actually re remake them. Yeah. Um, what Rob has been doing is ever since we released the first extractor, he's been trying to work out a way that we could do it so the unit itself could slip into any card box. Okay. So what he's come up with is the new E2 gimmick now the other benefit with the standard e2 this was now a sealed unit yeah with the uh, uh, sorry with a standard extractor with the e2 the deck can be pulled from the box slightly and i think that really that is just such a it's a subtlety but it really is yeah. it makes it more impossible we're just gonna you just open it up slide it in it's a beautiful convincer it really is a great convincer that the cards can come out the box um now, I'm going to explain to you what sort of happens with the extractor. Yeah. So, let's imagine that this is a spectator sign card. They get a choice. They can place the card, and it really can go anywhere. Yeah. Okay? The only place it can't go is the very top, but why would you want it on the very top? Yeah, yeah. Okay? So, they push it anywhere into the pack. So, it's gone in there. They can even push it square and flush. The card, uh, the box is closed. I haven't got a jacket on, yeah. um, so I'll do this in my back pocket. But the box itself goes into my back pocket. I have got tight trousers on. But instantly, the signed card is now in my possession. Yeah, it's okay? so quick. Now, bearing in mind, you don't have to do it quick. Whether you're doing stage and you want to do a, a playing card to melon or lemon or orange, whatever, yeah. I've got a great handling on there for, for stage as well. Um, but the fact is, what it does is it gives you, the performer, time. Because that card's now in that box. Their mind switches off to anything being able to, to happen to that card. Yeah. So now you've got all the time in the world to produce it anywhere you want. Now you imagine um, performing something like the mystery box or the clarity box if you don't want to do a mercury fold or anything else. I've got that in my possession straight away. Yeah. I can put my hands in my pocket. I can be talking to them. The deck and their card is up here in the box. Yeah. They've switched off to all of that. I can be folding it in my pocket, point to the box, get them to open the box. They see a card inside, boom, yeah. and I'm done. It, it's, it's a utility device. In fact, David Blaine quoted that it was one of the best utilities for card magic he's ever seen. Yeah. 
you know it really is and it you know opens it up to to you guys as well to create your own uh, lead-ons from using it you know yeah. it just adapts itself to every routine and uh, you know it really does and the like I said, because you can interchange it into any box, whatever brand of poker size cards you're using, um, you can create an E2 with it just by slipping the gimmick out, customizing your box, which would take you about a minute. Yeah. Slipping the gimmick that. in. The only thing, the only stipulation is the deck you use has to have a white border. Apart from that. Yeah. You're fine. Use whatever, yeah. Um, so that is the E2. We've got them in stock. They are selling very fast. Um, we're almost out of batch number two. Batch number three is coming in about two weeks' time. So try and get your order in quick if you want it before Christmas. Otherwise, chance it may be January. But that is the E2. It gets Alakazam's highest recommendation. Um, it really is a device that you will not leave home without once you've got it and once you've mastered it. So if you want to do the, the great effects like sign card into position, into sealed deck, it's all on here. Okay, so something that's literally brand new into the store. Yep. We're talking hours ago. Yes, um, indeed. Is the J-Clip. The J-Clip. JJ Jackson. Yes. Yeah, uh, which is, I don't know if they can see it from back there, it is a, it's an awesome clip which you can very easily apply, take on and off of your belt. Um, just here. Oh, we have two, like this. So the uh, JJ is a, a good friend of mine, uh, a customer that's been buying from Alexander for years. Um, about a year or two ago, he showed me a clip that he had designed. Basically, um, JJ does various magic, whether it be close up kids street whatever it is jj's done it yeah um and he created this clip so he could uh you know do deck switches if he wanted to do a deck switch it's basically a, a deck holdout um but also if you're out working and you're wearing a suit you don't want no. decks way in your pocket down i hate it I, I have my one deck that i use yeah um but if i carry an invisible deck or whatever i like to have them away and what i used to do is customize those little leather card cases yeah. and put belt slits in them and everything else but this is great because it sort of works a bit as a, a card guard as well because it's so solid. solid it stops anything hitting the pack yeah um also you can uh, tighten them up just by squeezing them so they'll give you a tighter grip but that will fit over your belt or obviously in your um pocket as you just had it but if you're using you know if you carry around an invisible deck or carry around let's say uh, a trilogy deck or cataclysm something that you're going to use a deck once in a while yeah. or, um this is great you just have it i you know with the one that i had before i had it on the back here uh, my jacket covered it and it, it's not in the way of anything i'm doing not in the way of my pockets or anything yeah. so those are the j clip um they're on our site we've got a limited number of these um and they are you know they are they're what lovely. they are they're nicely they're, made yeah they're brilliantly made it's a great little idea i'm not going to do a qvc and start <laughs> going into the ins and outs of what you can do with it it holds a deck of cards it's a great idea and um they're in stock now okay so uh let's take a look at inferno inferno yeah brilliant I love it. It's really good. Inferno um, has been really, really popular. Uh, it kept, uh, as when it was released, it kept going out of stock. I mean, we'd get them in, they'd sell, we'd get them in, they'd sell. Um, I was sort of out of the office a lot doing stuff, filming and everything else. I didn't really have a chance to, um, to really look at it. And uh, a few weeks ago, my mate Mike came in um, and he performed it. He performed it to a customer in here and I thought, do you know what? That's so nice. It's yeah. so clever. It it comes with everything you need to do the effects. It comes with the DVD. It comes with two matchboxes. And it comes with um, two versions. Yeah. Now, I've been looking on uh, the cafe and various other places. And a lot of people seem to be pushing towards the one of the versions yeah, saying yeah. it's the cleanest version everything else i had a customer in here saturday and i set one up because he hadn't seen it 
and but the only cards I had because we had a setup with the normal version um, but I had taken it home to practice with so the only cards I had left were the set up for the second version yeah, yeah. so I set those up while he was here demonstrated on him and it totally floored him and I thought to myself why am I bothering with that other version yeah because this version is just as good to a layperson. So let me show you what it is, because I'm babbling on. But this is it's one of those tricks that, and believe me, I've got one of these in my pocket now, because it's so small. Yeah. Um, it's completely self-contained. It's one, compl one thing I must say, because I had only seen the trailer of this up to today when you showed it to me. And as you do when you're a magician, you watch the trailer go through. Is that right? So... I was thinking of down clarity box version. I was like, right, so Mercury is coming up soon. It's going to yeah. happen soon. And it, literally, watching it in person, there's none of that. It's as yeah. clean as that box is there the whole time. You literally open it, take the card out. Yeah. And, and that, you know. Yeah. yeah. That's it. So the, the matchbox, um, if you don't want to use the matchbox, you can use any little tin or holder or whatever. Yeah. Um, or to be fair, you could even put the card down. I mean, I. I but the, the matchbox is great. Josh J, uh, Josh J's got a great uh, presentation where he uses matches, which you know makes sense of the matchbox. But basically, the effect is we're going to play, or you're going to play with your spectator, a little game of. Um, it, it's like a, a, a little game with the the imagination. Okay, in your mind, you're going to burn an imaginary deck of playing cards. Okay, okay? I'm so ready. I'm going to try this with you. Yeah. Obviously, I won't get any answers off these guys <laughs> but i'm going to ask you three questions right okay um the first question is a pack of playing cards is made up of spot cards and picture cards okay okay that's my um so it's one of the guys picture. Oh, that, yeah picture cards <laughs> so spot cards and picture cards the yeah. uh, spot cards being the aces twos threes fours and so on yeah. picture cards jacks queen kings so we're going to burn either the spots or the pictures which ones are we going to burn these spots we're going to burn the spots imagine they have all gone that leaves us the pictures you've got the jacks queens and kings we're going to split those into men yeah and women for your second question what do you want to burn the men or the women i should probably burn the men to be honest you're going to burn so the don't men. get in trouble yeah right okay so <laughs> they're all gone yeah that leaves you the women good but even though you've tried your hardest the women have caught on fire. But it's your oh. chance to be the hero now. <laughs> You're going to reach out and grab just one. Okay. Is it going to be the Queen of Hearts, the Queen of Spades, the Queen of Clubs, or the Queen of Diamonds? It's going to be the heart. The Queen of Hearts? Yeah. Okay. So let's get this right. I've asked you three questions. Uh -huh. You made a decision on each one of those. Yeah. And you've decided to save one card out of 52, which is... Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts. Do me a favour. Yeah. Open up the box and tip out the contents into my hand. You're going to see that inside the box is a playing card. The playing card has actually got a paper clip on it. It has. To hold it folded. Yeah. Okay. Not only that, you can see that it's actually quite scorched. Scorched. One card. And you said the... Queen of Hearts. Queen of hearts the only <laughs> card in the box it's so good it's so good it really is it's fantastic for all that for one little matchbox Such a and great. that's it that is one of those carry with you yeah. anywhere tricks and if you watch i mean i'm a great fan of josh jay's oh, anyway, same. but if you watch his performance you could play this <laughs> oops you could play this parlor um you can do it close up you can do it basically any any second yeah. um it's inferno gets my highest recommendations i think I, it's genius i'll tell you one thing i hate is every time i come here to do a vlog i see something new and i end up buying something and taking it home and today that is this one yeah because i you know it's been a while since i've seen a good worker and i think it's perfect so and uh, it is a it is a great worker and it's um it's so easy to do the thinking behind it is genius yeah it, it really is um as as per usual josh jay's thought about it everything's structured perfectly uh there's ev there's always only three questions there isn't any weird moments during the presentation yeah um it's pretty straightforward as an effect for the spectator to follow 
um, and it, it's just an interesting plot and I, I think it's great for, for what it is, for what you're getting, I think it's great value for money and I think it's an effect that you would use and I think I haven't tried it um, table hopping but I, I'm mm. sure it would work perfectly if you've got a few people involved in the Yeah, the I'm going to give it a go. Um, obviously when I go out to the bars and the clubs and that, uh, I'm going to give this a, this a go there. Yeah. But I think that it's perfect setting for it. So that's Inferno by Joshua J. Dave. How do? Very well. Excellent. How are you, Andy? Yeah, I'm. I'm good. What we're going to do is, um, I'm going to give these a mix up, and I need you to select a card. Okay. okay. Anyone you want. In fact, uh, I tell you what, we'll make it a bit easier. Um, as I run my thumb down the side here, all you have to do is shout out stop. Okay. Yep. Stop. There. Yep. Okay. Well, we'll cut the cards at that point. Take the card. Have a look here. In fact, show the camera. Cool. Excellent. And if you don't mind, just stick it back in there anywhere you want. <laughs> Here. It's brilliant. In. Thanks for helping me. <laughs> You're very welcome. Look, I'll tell you what, um, I don't need to know what your card is anyway, because earlier on today, I made a prediction. Right. So sure of I of what card you would choose, I place it underneath there. Okay. No, seriously, I did look. There we go. The uh, King of King of Hearts. Well, it is the King of Hearts, but it that's is not my card. No, I didn't say it, but I, I said it was a prediction. Uh, yeah. yeah, and it's not the King of Hearts itself, it's what's written on the back, which in this instance is the Three of Clubs, right? No, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't? No. Oh, right, okay. Uh, well, that's fine, because I'm a magician. All we have to do is just shake like that, and you, I think you'll find <laughs> that was, your card, yeah. the, uh, the Five of Spades, yeah? It was. And right. actually, the, uh, the ink is dry on that, um, so you can check that out. Nah. Is my card. Very good. Thank you. And go. <laughs> okay, so that was the trailer for Predator Change. Yep. Uh, I'm sure you guys will love, love that. It just looks so visual. Uh, we're coming towards the end of this week's vlog. Yeah. But we did have, I did say at the beginning, quite a good jam session. Um, we with, did. With Joseph Barry. Uh, and Perseus Ar Archimedes. Yes. Um, two fantastic magicians. So basically what happened a few weeks ago, we had a solid week of filming. I let you loose with a camera. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so we basically we went to go over to the uh the pub that was was linked to the hotel that we all stayed at yeah uh, as soon as we walked in we got kicked out we were closing <laughs> um so we decided to go back to to my room and just had a bit of a jam session so these are gonna be some of the clips from what we filmed and uh yeah maybe a few more in weeks to come as well so i hope you enjoy that brings us to the end of this week's adakazam video blog thanks again for your continued support and please follow us in all the usual places um thank you very much and i will see you next time on the adakazam video blog Hi guys, I'm Dave Loosley. I'm Joe Barry. 
And I'm Persis Hokomanis. And this is episode 19 of the Alakazam video vlog. Slightly different to usual. Um, we've just been kicked out of a pub after a long day of filming some brand new material. And we're back here in the, in the hotel room just having a little bit of a jam session. See that? My That's magic. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to very much be behind the camera uh, so you guys can see what these guys have to offer. So welcome to episode 19 of the Alakazam video vlog. Okay, so Joe, uh, you're down filming your disc three of Inscrutable. Certainly are. We were filming all day today and it was epic. You were fooling me all day long, <laughs> as you did last time. Uh, so i literally thrown it on you just to, to fry me now. So can you show us something? Um, yeah, sure. You got a tweet there, or Skype, or whatever it's called. Let's do this. Yeah, uh, <laughs> name a number, loosely. One, one fifty-two. Uh, my packs. 14. Which pack do I use? The one on the table. This? Yeah. Okay. Look. Anything, right? Anything. This good? Yeah. This is, this is, this is fair, right? Yeah, we can see this. There's a shovel deck. Um, right, loosely, what did he name? 14. 14. You're going to um, you take any card out of, out of here, right? And it can be anything. Do you want, do you want to try this? Yeah, sure. If I deal these like down onto the table like this, and you just say stop, it doesn't really matter stop. where. You sure? Yeah. Here? Yeah. This is a good one, right? Mm -hmm. The uh, seven of nice. diamonds. And this is a shuffle deck, you've seen all the cards, you do this. What do you say, 15? Four, what did I say? 14. 14. 14. 14. It's been a long day, you know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 14, okay, uh, I'll try and do this. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This is the fourteenth card, right? Yeah. And you could have had any any of these, right? And these aren't some sort of these near uh, setups or anything with this. Say so what, Dave? I got lucky on this, mate. Fantastic, on board. Nice. <laughs> wow. Oh, good that job, man. Kind of Joe, your your style of magic is like. Is completely relaxed and different to a lot of other styles I've seen. It's only because I can't do the other styles. Well, I? yeah. <laughs> no, but you say that, but it really is. And I know a lot of magicians constantly get fooled by your by your material. What's your kind of inspiration, and uh, who who did you kind of learn off to to get your style? Um, uh, that's, 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 that's a good question. My, my probably the biggest in, um, inspiration in uh, is. Leonard Green, in fairness, when I was a kid, I, I, I used to lo um, love watching those DVDs just for the performance. I thought it was amazing, you know, and the sloppiness. And I think, I think a lot of that inspired me in the, hand, the way I handle the cards. Um, people like Juan Tamariz just, just fries my mind to watch it. It's just absolutely yeah. amazing to watch. Um, yeah, so I, you... I also like the more, the more gambling type of guys like Steve Forte. Steve Forte tapes. I, I used to love them. I had the um, yeah, that, that, that's, that's awesome. And, you know, through the Marlowe box and things like that, mixing it all together, I think it just made this sort of, this sort of random style that I, that I kind of do. It's just, well, mate, it, it works so well. <laughs> it really does. The gambling stuff you were doing today was was epic. Like, oh, I've never thanks. really looked at the gambling routines, and some of them were so like complex at, at looking at, but when you actually work, when you explain how they work, they were so straightforward, and I think... That's that's quite unique for the gambling routines. Yeah, yeah. Some of them on the on the disc three, they're like the a few of them are um, what you call like pseudo uh, gambling demonstration, right? So um, it looks real, but it's not. So uh, it's kind of easy to do. So what I'd like to do is do the real do the real um, demonstrations and throw those in. And those suddenly look so much stronger than mm. the uh, than the real than the real thing. Yeah, you like these ones, don't you? The one with the text yeah. holding yeah. it, it's, it's funny. Yeah, they were awesome. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that's something I like. And just as a, you know, not a sneak peek as such, but for people who uh, have bought the first two, uh, the first double disc set, um, what are they to expect of the third one? Um, it, the third one is a, that I had a lot of stuff planned for the, the, the two disc one, and I thought there's enough material there for the three discs but we managed to fit them on two so I th um, half of the list wasn't put on to the DVD so it's more of the same sort of style of trying to uh, trying to use subtlety instead of sleight of hand 
for the um, to create the effects is um, so more of the sort of semi-automatic stuff. Um, there's a few there's a few things that require practice, but um, this is in the same sort of vein as the the inscrutable door that this set. Um, we were talking today about doing um, putting all the other stuff with the sleight of hand and uh, on a on a three disc DVD set as well. So hopefully that will be that'll be amazing. Uh, that'll be soon enough. Yeah, I mean, I know you've got so much other stuff um, to show and to showcase. And some of the stuff you're doing around dinner tonight was just insane. <laughs> so um, I can't wait to see the next projects that, that come out. Uh, so thank you very much, Joe. No worries, Dave. And uh, we'll continue to jam. Yeah, absolutely. I'm looking forward to seeing something. Okay, so Joe, we're having a bit of a jam here at the hotel. Are you going to introduce me to someone? This is Perseus Archimanes, fantastic magician from Greece. He's going to show you something cool. Let's do it. So, let's try something. Choose one of your decks. Ah, uh, this one? This good? Yeah. Or this? Or this? Wh whichever you want. I'm, I'm, I like this one. Shuffle it like a madman. So that looks like a madman. Yeah, you see? Yeah. No. no layman would do that, you know. Yeah. You still can't, cannot find a layman who would actually shuffle the deck as a madman. Thank you. No Thank worries. You. No worries. Thank you. Are you happy with that? I'm delighted, my Do you friend. want to cut the deck whenever you want? Yeah. Like this. Whatever you want. Eight. Now. Do you think that deck is thoroughly shuffled? Definitely. You're happy with it? Definitely happy. You should shuffle that day. Yeah. Have you seen this? Cut on one side, face up. I didn't do like that. Complete the cut, Joe. Don't be lazy, mate. No, I don't want to do all the work, do I? <laughs> now. Yeah? Put your finger like that. Go around the deck. And just jam it wherever you want to. Close the rest of the deck. Okay. Was this a free choice? This was a very free choice. It just what happens to be the one you chose as well. Is it, was that the trick you were trying to do on me? <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you uh, notice that I ask you to use one of your decks? Yeah, yeah. Because my deck is right here from the middle, right? Yes. I want you to open the seal, open the box, check. You can drag the whole deck or you can just drag the top card out. Is it this one? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Turn it over. <laughs> <laughs> what? Perseus. Are you guys ganging up on me or something? No. Cause <laughs> no. Wow. So, so you do, you're a close-up performer? Yep. Um, what sort of uh, gigs do, do you do? Close-up gigs, you know, restaurants and bars and stuff. But I also do theatre shows and stage magic. Wow! So I'm the all-around guy. And you create. You've got some fantastic routines yeah, and ideas yeah, that yeah. you've been showing today. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure, mate. You've got some great stuff, and I'm exactly. sure we will carry on this jamming um, once we work out some more stuff to do. Oh, we will. Absolutely, and it, I might even show my face. I won't do any You'll magic. Draw next. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well. Perseus, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Joe, I'm sure I'll see you guys in a second, so. Will do. Here we go.